Welcome to the Fifth Trooper Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fifth Trooper Podcast. My name is Jay Shalansky, and joining me this week, as always, is Evan Bolris. Hey, how's it going? So, you may hear some pirate music, and our audio may seem a little strange, because myself and the fearless Evan the Raccoon are playing Sea of Thieves while doing the podcast. So, if you're listening to audio only, I highly recommend going over to our YouTube channel. This will be up on the YouTube. Uh, And also, you know, if you want to just listen, you're going to get some cool pirate music, and oh, and there's Evan waving to everyone on the YouTube. Uh... You're going to get some cool pirate music and stuff in the background. We're going to talk Legion, of course, because that's what we do here. But we thought it would be fun since it's getting a little bit slow. Um, We did do the Vital Assets uh, uh, spoil over the weekend, and Evan and I were pretty tired from that. And so now that we're doing our actual social distancing, um, we decided maybe we try something a little bit different today. And uh, there's a ship. And uh, play a game while we talk. The right nice thing about Sea of Thieves is it's uh, almost like a, it's as much interaction as you want it to be. So right. like we're, we'll probably sail around a bit and then fish and then like yes. dig up a treasure chest or something right, right, like right. Uh, something pretty low key. Uh, but no, it's um yeah it's you know we did the vital assets well which we, uh you know when Jay and I were talking about it after we we played the objective like, not wrong we did <laughs> yeah, not right <laughs> we though. had the idea correct <laughs> we just didn't understand that as soon as a um as soon as a bomb is dropped you can blow it up and yeah. so when we each drop bombs in each other's deployment from units that got killed we each could have set it off instead we're just like yeah we're like fair playing you know we're like yeah, yeah, man, yeah you get yeah. it over here then you can blow it up buddy yeah and the other thing and i think i brought this up uh kind of in the middle of us um playing or towards the end was I was moving Vader into your deployment zone and really yeah. I could have done it within range one. Oh, there's that there's that uh this this lady. Whoa, she looks crazy. She's she's over there hammering, getting the boats ready. Uh this is the merchant lady. Uh and anyways, yeah, so we played it a little bit wrong and we also played the supply deck a little wrong as well. Uh you can actually get two instead of one. Um and so Oh yeah, we, we goofed. Yeah. It's uh it's whatever. I mean, like, uh, you know, uh, I can't tell you how many times we've done a real objectives wrong. Man, I remember my first Nova um, back when the game first came out, and nobody knew how to right. play the game. Uh, so, yeah, we goofed up, but uh, we also had those files for, like, a day, you know, right? So we didn't even get a chance to really read them. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so... Anyways, so, but we had a great time. It was really, really cool of FFG to give those to us as well. So, um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. No, that was really cool. I'm excited for, uh, you know, I think the Scoundrels will be talking about it on the one they just put out, um, like all the hot deets on right. how to use that stuff. Uh, but I'm excited. It's, they're fun, man. The bomb one's actually, like, pretty cool, like mm-hmm. being able to... Uh, uh, I like my droidicas, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. And then they all, <laughs> you you just iced them. I'm like, hmm, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I know when we like set up and we're talking about it, we we both had just kind of decided, hey, we're going to have a little bit of fun here and um, not yeah. concern ourselves too much about, you know, whether we win or lose. It was more of to show off the cards to every, everyone. No, that's fair. Yeah, it was... Uh, I mean, there's some really cool stuff, right? Like, uh, all the little, like, basic add-ons are real cool. I like how it's random. I like that it's, uh, it's like a wild card thing, right? Because you don't even, you could be, have no robots in your yeah. group and get the repair kit, and you're like, oh, okay. Or right. vehicles, you're like, all right, cool. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, even, like, the, uh, the game, game-winning, uh, plays, like, if you get the, uh, the scale one, the yep. Luke's little grappling hook. Like that's oh super yeah, good too. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a ton of really neat stuff in there. Um, it, it's really going to shake up the meta, and uh, I think it's almost interesting. Um, I kind of uh, okay. So I know everyone's going to get like maybe not everyone, but some of the some of the more competitive players might get a little upset at this next statement. But like, 
Um, I I am a little grateful that Worlds was delayed because it's given us opportunity. You know, it's funny you say that. Like, I was super bummed because I was going to bring a droid tank Dooku. Yeah. And man, did that thing have good matchups? Yeah. When there was nothing to hunt it, and then now, uh, now there's a lot. <laughs> a lot will be out by the time, uh, uh, like you know, Worlds comes around again. Have we heard anything about that? Nope. Do I want a blunder okay. bomb or do I want a fire bomb? I have no idea. They're, uh, They're I new. Played since I haven't played. Came yeah. Out. And then I have chain shot, small cannonballs chained together. Oh, wow. So, for those of you who have never played, Sea of Thieves is an amazing game. Um, I believe we've talked about it on uh, earlier podcasts. Maybe. Pile, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we mentioned it on this game, on this one, like maybe okay. eight or nine months ago during a slow period of the yeah. games that we like playing. Really cool game. Like I said, we're on, well, this will be on YouTube as well, so please go check out the YouTube channel if you want to watch the video. Um, we didn't get our webcams up ready for this episode just because, um, quite frankly, this was a last-minute decision. And uh, <laughs> It was, Jay, but let's be real. Evan's... Uh... Evan's been looking like living like a work troll. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I know for a lot of people who have been their work has been downgrading. Evan and my work has actually been increasing due to the industries we're in, and so it's we've both both been crazy busy. Yeah, I, I uh, you know it's funny because I was helping um, uh, Mike go walking and uh, Zach uh, Thrawn in the in the Discord. Uh, they want to do this cool show they're going to be doing later this week. Um, that, uh, like cool... So for those of you listening, um, we this is going to air on Wednesday. They actually did it last night on our oh, Twitch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, on our Twitch channel. So check out twitch.tv slash the fifth trooper. And I know what many of you are thinking. I didn't know you guys had a fifth uh, a Twitch channel. And we do. I just hate Twitch, so I've never used it before. But <laughs> when the boys came up with this idea, they, they wanted to do kind of like a sports cast analysis type show um i say hey why don't you use the twitch channel because i hate it and never use it um and you know it might be good and so they they took that and uh we're like heck yeah let's do that jay so so they uh they needed a third to come on to test like a three-way call mm. and i jumped on and i, I saw myself <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> unshaven hair all over the place yeah I put in like I, I work it so like everyone needs to work from home and needs help getting set up which is fine it's just Right, it all happened at once. This wasn't like a slow thing. So I, I saw myself in the camera, and Jay's like, "Hey, do you want to do webcam?" So I'm like, "Nah, dog." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right, Evan. Uh, I so yeah, man. I'm new to. There's a lot of new stuff. There's a water barrel down here. Like food. What is going on? This is so, gonna be. Jay, I need you to come up here. It's gonna I be need fun. You to come up here. Yeah, where are you? Where are you at? Would you like to meet first mate Macaw? Oh my he's god, there's a back. there's a parrot on this ship. He's my parrot pal. Oh, oh, he's on your arm. He's on your he, arm. He, he's just a good boy. Like, he's got a little hat. Oh my gosh, he's petting him. Look at this. <laughs> All right, let's let's set sail, matey. All right, that's a... hmm. Look at his little hat. I'll All get right, the yeah, uh, uh, I'll get the old uh, whatever these things here sails. That's the word I was looking for. So, Evan, what's been, uh, for you, what's been the toughest part about quarantine so far besides tons of work? Oh, man, my Fridays, man. Um, Friday nights is my game night at my shop. And, oh, that's uh, right, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we'd all get together. We'd play Legion, we'd play X-Wing. Pretty much, if people didn't want to play anything, we'd just play whatever game anyone had. Um, and so to lose hanging out with my friends right. uh, in person is a big hit. See, I thought for sure you were gonna say missing out on uh, Rachel's cooking, cause also that she Don't made some. Said that second. <laughs> yeah, she made some pretty mean chicken fajitas tonight. And oh we, dang! Okay. We got pretty sad because we were like, "Oh, Evan's not here to enjoy these." Hey, what's this? <laughs> what's this magic stuff up here in the distance? Yeah, I don't know. That's new. I'm heading for it. Um, no, it, that's actually been the thing. You know, we've tried to get together on TTS to play Legion or yeah. things like that, and it works, but it's not quite the same, right? Right, like, right. Because um, we do that, then after there's an Applebee's across the shop, and it's like $3 beer and half price. Yeah, time, so it's always a really just, good night. Yeah, so it's, that's been my biggest, like, uh, uh, bummer out of the quarantine. How about you? Uh... I mean, you kind of just... <laughs> don't leave your house unless, like, <laughs> yeah. unless you run out of toilet paper. Right? I don't really leave much. Uh, 
just because I work from home and everything. But um, I think the toughest thing has just been, um, like, knowing that I really can't. Like, yeah. like before, it was, it was uh, I was doing it for myself. Like, just like, yeah, I don't have to go anywhere. Now it's like, now I can't go anywhere. And that's like a different thing in my brain. You know, like not being able to do something versus choosing not to do something. Those seem to be two different things. You know what I mean? Well, right, because the option's gone. Right. It's, it's not even like, even if you weren't going to do it, it's like, well, now I want to. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm, other than that, things haven't really changed too much in the old Shalansky household. We got the kids are out of school until an indefinite amount of time. Uh, they sent a date for it, but I, I think we're going to end up going through the end of the year. Uh, we'll see. So that's been interesting. I do I do like having the kids around, though, so that's been fun. They've been, you know, after their homework and stuff, they, they've all been playing their video games. So, like, my one of the kids today was showing me uh, he did a bunch of stuff in Minecraft that he was really happy about. And I was <laughs> like, Minecraft? Kids still play Minecraft? Do you know that's over 10 years old, though? Dude, I know it's crazy. Um, I don't know. I I was telling Rachel I felt really old the other night because you know you and I have played video games yeah. and I've played video games my whole life, and uh, the kids were talking to me about something the other night and I was I didn't know what it was and I was like oh no, <laughs> you're officially old now. Yeah, I was like oh dang. Uh, yeah, you see that thing? Look at that. Look at those. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you just listening, there's some sparkly stuff up in the ocean here that we're going to go check out and see what's doing. Uh, Evan and I haven't played this game in a long time, and so I have no idea. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, freaking no, mass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't played this game in a while, so this should be interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, that's been tough. But on the flip side, um, you know, we were talking about, I, just, I told you a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a... Um, Actually, last week, man, time is just—I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yesterday, did we play a game, Evan? That was last week. Oh, okay. Uh, so I bought a battle phone bag finally. Oh, what do you think? Uh, and I love it. And I actually went online and bought the little side pocket. So before I get too much into that, um, you know, if you're getting into Legion, uh, the nice thing is that if you're not playing droids, um, the models are pretty good. Right, they're not a little too spindly. They're not, uh, right. um, you know, real like pokey or anything like that. Uh, so any carrying uh, like situation will work. But uh, if you're just getting started, I recommend the bag I was working with until I got the battle foam, which was the um, the uh, they're called I think I'm gonna say his name wrong. Feldairs. They're okay. uh, about forty or fifty bucks, and you mm -hmm. get two or three sheets of foam plus like a like a canvas bag. Oh, nice. That goes in them. Yeah. And they're pretty reasonably priced. Yeah, it's funny. So I've had the battle foam for a while now, and I, I always liked it. Like, I, it was always really nice. Um, though I have been thinking a lot lately of going to the magnetized ones just because... Oh, the magnet tray? Yeah. Uh, I didn't care before with the soft plastics, but now that they're, like, getting a little bit yeah. more uh, detailed in the plastic and stuff, it's something that I'm like, oh, man, I should really start focusing yeah. Right, my little robot arms are a little spindly. They're starting to pop off a little bit. Not too yeah. bad. But uh, that's why I went with the battle foam, because it's got more space and you can buy. So they're, they're expensive, but they're pretty cool. Uh, like, you buy the battle foam, and it comes with foam inside. Then it has all these, like, they look like weird stripes around the side, but you can actually buy accessories that hook into them. Yep. So I got the bag. Uh, I have one that can hold on my morale patches, which is super cool. Uh, and then I bought... Uh, like a drink holder, uh, um, like a, a tape measure holder, oh. and two more component holders yeah. that you just strap onto the bag so you can actually customize it uh, for what good. you need. Yeah, I like that. And you can even get the uh, the magnet. So what Jay was talking about, what you can do, is so like the, the, the super easy way to do it is you go to a dollar store and buy a cooking tray, like a mm -hmm. cookie sheet tray, and you put magnets on the bottom of each of your uh, models and they stick right to it. And so you can walk into the store just holding like a cookie tray and you have all your models on it. Um, but what they also make uh, for Battle Foam is a magnet rack. So you, it's trays that slide out inside the bag and you can magnetize all your units there. Uh, and it's easy, like, 
And you don't have to worry about the foam breaking the pieces. You don't have to worry about right. it being spindly or anything like that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, a couple of our buddies, Ed and Brandon, both have them. And I've, I always was like, nah, I'm okay. You know, things are, I don't need it. And then suddenly recently I'm like, oh, maybe I do need it. Right, like it's a, uh, I was the same way where I'm like, wow, $150 for a bag. That's silly. And then uh, I I was looking at it like, well, this is this is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, honestly, they just, are really nice. Because when I go to, like, I was, I'm, you know, fingers crossed Nova still happens. Um, yeah, we'll see. And I'm playing, like, yeah, right? Like, uh, I'm playing, like, two or three games there, and instead of having, like, two or three bags, this battle foam is everything. And usually I'm heading down with, like, two or three of my friends, so we share a car and we share a room. So having uh, anything that can cut down on space is super clutch. We'll play in music while we're boating here. Uh, try Ball to think one. what's going on. So, oh, so today, uh, not today, but like the last, on and off for the last few days, um, I've been working on an Endor mat. Oh, I missed that barrel. Um, been working, hold on, hold on, drop, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, yeah. What's up? There's some stuff over, glowing over here in the water. Um, so I've been working on this Endor table to go along with our force mat. Uh, I'm going to share pictures pretty soon. I, uh, I got a couple of the trees, uh, areas done. Uh, Evan, I think you saw it today. Yeah, yeah. I like it because it looks real clean. Um, like my, I like foliage on my boards, but I like it when it's kind of contained. So you can kind of, uh, you, you know if your unit's getting cover from it or not. Yeah. Right, because it's honestly all to base. Oh, it looks like a ship went down here. Yeah, something. This is great. Uh, find and speak with the mermaid to turn your ship. Oh, oh okay. that's that's the mermaid thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But think, yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm going to, um, I got, I did get the bunker, so I'm going to pop that out and, uh, and put that out. But then I've just been playing around with these different ideas. And actually, one of the funny thing is, so for everyone at home, uh, when I do show the pictures, they, uh... I went to the dollar store right when we first started playing Legion, so probably like a year and a half ago, and um, they had these, like, they're like these kids' uh, costume things, but, like, they're like Donatello's uh, bow staff, but, like, a dollar version, t dollar store version toy, and the, the bow staff, the, the things look like tree trunks. And so I literally just bought like 20 of those at the dollar store for 20 bucks. And, uh, uh, is it all gone? Looks like it might be all be gone. All the goodies and the water. So I bought yeah, the, I got a cup. okay. So I bought the, uh, I bought all the, uh, the, a bunch of them, like 20 sets of these. And so it's basically two tree trunks. So I have about 40 tree trunks or so. And so I'm going to start, uh, building out some Endor stuff. And, uh, yeah, I might, I might do a little ditty on one of them. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm not very good at, like, a lot of the train people, uh, you know, their, their work spaces are, like, awful clean, you know? Like, yeah. and I'm just, like, I mine sure is, mine, there's, like, paint all over. Like, I, I use my hand. I use the mat for, like, to, like, <laughs> to, like, get my color palettes right. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm all over the place when I do art artistic stuff um and you know like I, I took studio art in college and stuff so like i've always been like that like just a like a really messy artist yeah. and so it was it's just interesting because i was like looking at my area today when i was working on some of the some of the sections of the table and i was like i could videotape this but i'm like eh, i don't know it's really messy <laughs> <laughs> dude Again, it's just like me when I saw myself with the webcam last night. Like, they've got, like, these nice Legion displays behind them. Zach's the cool Legion poster. And then I look, and there's, like, three energy drink cans, a bu <laughs> a, like, a pile of, like, yeah. uh, Imperial, like, stormtroopers and snowtroopers that I haven't gotten away to put a putting away yet. Like, just, uh, I was like, well, oh, what do you mean? This is weird, you know? <laughs> well, it's funny, too. So, like, one of the things that um, Legion and doing the fifth trooper stuff has helped me with is 
uh, now that all the everyone's work from home, like um, a couple of my clients and stuff, where all they all want to do video conferencing now, so that we all, you know, it's, it's more for the people yeah. that are are in the office all the time. And I'm sure you're dealing with this a lot too, Evan, in your yep. job. But like, yeah, it's more for the people that are in the office all the time, so that they can see each other when they're talking. It's it's really interesting. Yeah, it's uh, you know, that's what I was thinking about doing when we play. Uh, TTS now, just with my friends mostly, so we do a webcam too, so you kind of yeah. get that. This just adds that extra, like, I do, I, I miss uh, the social aspect of these games. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's only been like a week and a half, and like, yeah, oh, there's the fog. Um, Uh-oh. You know, like, there's, uh, it's only been a week and a half, like, you know, like, chill out, right? Like, right. It'll, it'll be fine, but uh, at the same time, it's just like, yeah, like, part of me just likes hanging out, and even if I'm not playing, just like, you know, uh, looking at people's paint jobs. So I've been doing a, uh, a Clone Wars quote of the day in the, the Facebook page, uh, and I've been asking to see people's models because I I'm I'm super interested in what people do, uh, and I think it's fun. Like it, it builds that community, right? Like just have everyone show their like their cool paint jobs or mods. If you want to go to the port or left, there's a sunken uh, ship there. <laughs> If you want to go to the port or left. <laughs> so for those of you at home, if you want to remember port, left it's has four, four letters. letters and port <laughs> has four letters. <laughs> I learned that from my Navy friend. Uh, a little bit more to the starboard, please. That's uh, I learned that from playing this game with my buddies and we'd start like, we'd do voices, yeah. right? And we'd get into it and then if someone didn't know, it'd be... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> but, um... Arr, avast! Learn ye pirate lingo, or walk the plank. Uh... We don't got a plank, Captain. <laughs> we got two smalls of boats. But, so I've been... Now that, uh... Now that Worlds is kind of on hold, or whatever's gonna go on with it, um, I've been looking at new list designs, mm. and... Man, I just can't wait for Cad Bane. You know, it's funny. I once Worlds was like, okay, bye. I stopped. I stopped caring about lists. All right, get ready to drop the anchor. Here we go. Nice, good job, Evan. Proud of you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I. You know, like I was real focused up for Worlds. Clearly. And, um, you know, for those of you that watched our Vital Assets uh, stream the other day, uh, that was my, that was absolutely my list for Worlds. Um, but I honestly haven't really put much thought into it since then. Ooh, there's some, there's some good stuff on the bottom level. I was going to go CIS, and so I was just messing around, like, three because I'm like, let's see what they can do. Um, they're fun, uh, but when you go against Vader and he doesn't really care about anything they do, like, oh, okay, well, uh, suppression doesn't matter. That's right. a thing. Uh, For those so... of you wondering what that guy's voice is in the background, that was me almost drowning while I was trying to get this <laughs> ruby. That, that sweet greed. If uh, you're not watching this on YouTube. <laughs> you just hear a guy straight yeah. choking me out, folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was, so I thought those, and I'm, I didn't really want to proxy the tank anymore until it came out. Um, just because it's like it's fine, proxying's fine, but yeah. there's something like when I'm playing you at like just casual events, I'm like, yeah, well, I kind of wish I had the real thing. Is that the Master so, Chief? It is. I yeah. just noticed that. Awesome. It's the special Spartan boat for being a cool guy. So uh, on our boat, if you're listening only, uh, the what do you what do you call that? The uh, sloop. No, the what's that front decoration called? Oh, the uh, headpiece. Yeah. Is the is Master Chief from Halo? Um, That's pretty cool. So I I didn't really want to do the tank anymore because I I'd ask people I'm like, do you know what the AAT does? And they'd say yes, and I'm like, okay, but do you? Uh, and they'd say yeah, yeah, it's fine. You know, just play, and I'll figure it out as we go. And right. I'm like, I really don't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when they get caught out in the open, I'm like, barrage. Here's eight red dice. Uh, and they look at me shocked, and I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. Uh, so I had it printed out, and I had it in, like, nice big 
easy read paper, but I just told myself until it actually releases, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, but then again, like I really want to play with Cad Bane, even with what we what we know with them. Uh, we only have like one of his cards because the other is like kind of spoiled on like a French website. But yeah, I don't speak French. Uh, you don't. So. I, I don't actually, unfortunately, hmm. uh, and that just makes it hard to translate. And I really don't want to like, you know, See, play the card and then do something crazy. And I like, thought, well, in the French translation, I thought you were a cultured trash panda, but turns oh. out I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Almost drowned my guy again. The French place doesn't throw out the good stuff, boss. <laughs> but uh, so, like, I was kind of worried about that uh, too. But I really want like. CIS, like, same thing with, like, clones. Like, clones got the tank, at least, though, right? Yeah. Like, that actually hit. And phase twos are cool. Um, B twos are cool, but I'm, I'm just so hungry for new units. And then we just got that release that things are getting pushed back to May 1st due to the, um, we're going to call it the Peroni pandemic. Uh, <laughs> uh, which is, it's like, I get it, right? Like, I, I would rather not have my new thing if it meant um, somebody got to be safe and not exposed right right uh but on the same thing on the same hand like i kind of want my toys so it's i'm in this like weird spot right now with the game right all right is it we'll go you want to go to that glittery glittery thing yeah, I'll over keep there? Going that way yeah why not i'll get that all right anchors up i'll take the uh i'll take the helm here USS Enterprise. On her maiden voyage, Captain Slog. <laughs> Star date. 17 so what do you think about, uh, AD. Uh, I think she's good. I'm just, you know what? I honestly. Uh, the new stuff has been a little overwhelming for me, to be oh, sure. I'm being fair. Um, I, I haven't really, like. Oh, I haven't really, like, looked a ton into it, and every time I do, I just get really overwhelmed. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting until it, it... It's easier for me, um, like, my style has always been uh, to have it, like, in my hands. Like, that's that's when I do, like, when I really get a hold, uh, like, grasp the concept. But I'm not very good at, like, theory crafting, like the scoundrels are, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I, uh... What is that? Going out of the water, maybe? Oh, whoa. oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, we're being boarded. That was um, me. So, you know, the more I think about it, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to Cassian. Um, I'm looking forward to K2SO. And I'm looking forward to Hayden, uh just because they add some more flavor to the game. And that whole going from commander to operative is a really cool mechanic as well. Um, uh, there's just so much coming out. Uh, like I'm, I want it, but uh, you know this, the virus makes it so. Uh, we just like at this point, honestly, you know, I just said I didn't like to, I didn't want to proxy the tank. Tank's one thing, but maybe uh, now that all of Iden's stuff is spoiled, that'd be interesting to proxy just to yeah. try it out. Yeah, it might be fun. Um, at yeah. least that's a little bit more digestible than a giant tank. And I'm like, well, no, no, it has nine health. What? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It rolls red tie. Yeah. Excuse me. What? Oh, but it fires twice. What? <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Uh, like I said, I played. I played a guy, uh, Jose from Spain. His whole town was on self quarantine, and so all he had to do was play on TTS. So he had only played Legion twice, and so I got on TTS with him, and uh, we were we were playing, and he played a similar list to yours, the Dooku tank list, and man. I, re I wasn't trying very hard because, you know, with newer players, you don't want to, like, spank yeah, them. It was, you yeah, want, yeah. yeah, you want to give them a shot so at least they know what's up uh, so they can learn how to play. But, man, he uh, he was, like, just, like, beating my booty with that uh, with that tank and Dooku. Oh, my gosh. I've been doing, uh, I'm building, like, a lot of uh, uh, tank Grievous. Uh, it's, like, five B1s and a B2, I want to say. Maybe four B1s. Yeah. Um, and that seems fun. I like Grievous just because uh, he's just Grievous, right? Dooku, I've played a lot of Dooku, and he's super good. They're both super good. 
is the thing. Like the problems are both expensive, so you can't like, like if you want to play a cheaper clone list, you just grab Rex, right? Right. And you're and you're good to go. If you want to play a cheaper uh, anything else, you just grab like the cheaper hero. The CIS issue right now is there's just nobody cheaper. It's just 200 points or bust. Oh boy, we're here. What does this mean? So we found this sunken ship. Everybody listening. And there was some glowy stuff on it. I don't know what it meant, though. Is it in the mast here? I don't know. I didn't oh, see. Oh. Uh, Wreck of the Sirens get. Oh. It's in the. What is it? Like a story uh, thing? Uh. Reaper's chest. I'm not oh. sure what this is. Is this where something real bad happens? Yeah, this is where we get jumped. Yeah. Um. So the next objective is to get to a port as quick as we can and cash us in. Yeah, there's some stuff down, and I just got a ruby. Oh, wow. Really? Damn. I wonder if that's going to be on us now, and if people can, like... I don't know what that means. I don't know where to turn that in. Oh, my God. This thing. Oh, my God. It's sealed with wax or blood? I can't tell. Boy, blood. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going with blood. Uh, let's, um, you want to venture into the ship one more time? See what else we can get. Yeah, let me let's do a quick circle. To make sure no one's. Uh... Oh, what's that over there? There's a bunch of stuff over here too. Yeah, there's a lot of treasure here. I'm. Uh... We're too far oh. away. You check out the boat. I'm gonna go. There's some like barrels or something over okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna go check those out. But um. I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, so like I've been playing there. a lot of CIS lately. Yeah. And I really like the order chain, and I really like that I can always make Grievous go when I want to. Um. B2s are cool, but I really I really need Cad Bane, I think, to make it, like, really something special. Okay. The problem being, uh, like, Cad Bane just gives you different order cards, too, because normally, if you don't want to play Double the Fall, um, they know exactly what you're playing. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, heard a cannon shot, got scared. Um, <laughs> they know exactly what you're playing, right? If you're playing Grievous, you're playing his three cards, three generics. Uh, Cad Bane also helps you counter R2, which is yep. a real pain in the butt. Yep. Yeah, R2 is tough just, to deal with sometimes. He just generally says either they put him on the opposite side of the map and it's a free victory point. And I've lost one or two games because of R2's free victory point. Um, and I think I think that's mostly uh, because of what where we are now with what's out. I I think with vital assets, it may not be as easy to do that with R2. No, and that's fair, and like especially like uh, uh, I remember you were giving uh, Boba Fett another shot again, and I think he might be good soon. Yeah. Um, again, like I don't think he was ever bad, but Bosk just was better, right? Like, yeah. So the uh, the list I had on stream, the uh, that was my final list for Worlds, but the one I had right before that was actually a, a Vader Boba list. That new ways to motivate them with Boba is really good. Yeah, you need to get a free move. That's a three, so you can do three, three moves. Yeah, like that's, or like that's insane. Or right? like a move grab move. Yeah, for box that's grab. That's good. Pretty good. Uh, and you had a couple of medics too, if I remember right. Uh, no, I don't think I had any medics. Oh, you didn't have any medics? I thought you had like a couple room for some, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I know you've played a couple different versions. Of that I had one. I had R I G, so I had the Royal Guard. Ah, uh, okay, that's it. Man, they're still good. <laughs> yeah, they are still pretty good. Yeah, my new, one the unit new list like, has those too. One list that's, that's one unit that's be, kind of become evergreen, or it's just always going to be okay, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't think there's ever a meta where IRG are considered bad. Right. They can guardian and they counter uh, the counter lightsaber users. So like, do what you want, right? right. Like, right. Either way, either you're countering the meta with them. Or you're giving uh, an important unit you have more hit points. Like both, both are good. Yeah, I really I I like IRG, especially with Vader. They're real good with Vader. I remember when they first came out and reading the cards. I'm like, oh, this seems okay. I don't know. I don't know about this. And I bought a box, and then uh, you came in and you bought like three of them, and the town was out for. <laughs> uh, uh, for like a month, and I'm like, and then as soon as they came back in, I think I was gonna buy another set. I'm like, oh god, I need these higher G. I didn't even know if I was gonna play them or not. I'm just like the, you know, the scarcity law, right? I'm just like, I yeah, gotta have this yeah. toilet paper. Uh, better buy it up. But uh, oh, you're one of that those, kind of went through huh? my head. 
But uh, they're 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 always excellent. I'm just I'm waiting for the world that Wookiees become uh, a like a decent unit. You can wait forever. Yeah, <laughs> in 800 points, let me point out. I think 500 points are fine. Um, uh, I wonder maybe if they, you know, uh, Luke had talked, Luke Eddy had talked on the Scoundrels cast about the new uh, silhouette system for, yeah, for that yeah. might help Wookiees. It's uh, like, it's, it's cool that they're big, right? Because that's yeah. correct, right? Wookiees are big. That's, that's, that's right. But the problem is the game is so like, when I play casually with my buddies, uh, the you know the guys generally say, "Hey, do you want to count guns or not?" That's right. the quite like yeah. like, "Hey, do you want to count if I can see your gun, if I can shoot, or do I need to see a body part?" Right, right, right. And I'm always I always defer to them. I'm like, "Hey, man, whatever you want. Like, if you want to say uh, heads and torsos, cool. If you want to say you know the the by the book rules, whatever, man, I'm cool." Um, and so when we do the uh, by the book, either the one we do, the Wookiees still get kind of screwed. It's like, well, I could see his whole arm. I'm going to shoot his arm off. It's like, okay. <laughs> all right, cool. Thanks. I put that Reaper's chest all the way in the bottom. All right, you want to okay. try to hit an outpost? Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's give the old map Ruski a look here. So where are we? Oh, my goodness. We're way down. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. It's, um, look, we got a death skull on us. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need to... Uh... Eve's There's name. one up, up. Oh, uh, ancient oh. spire. Looks like it's yeah. yeah. All right, let's, it's uh, a ways. All right. So uh, what's, yeah, what's you want to you want to go northwest. Okay. More north than west. Northwest, more north than west. All right, Captain Macaw. First mate, Macaw. You can shoot me, just don't shoot me, bird. I'm going to get the cannons ready just in case stuff gets wild here. Worst case, we, uh, I think the plan is we run for the fog. Run or... for the hills! <laughs> yeah. Or if there's a storm, we drive toward the storm and then just hope we don't die. Right. Northwest, you said, right? Yeah, more north than west, though. Okay. You're, uh, you're, if you go straight, we're good. Okay. Yeah, sorry. You us out a little bit. Okay. Oh, God. The Reaper's chest is whispering to me. It says to kill you. Oh, well. I knew this day would come. <laughs> it said raccoons Curse are... Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Raccoons are bad for your health. Hey, we wash our paws, man. But... Yeah, so I don't know. It's been it's been surely been interesting. Yeah, it's it, the problem is like you know there's not been any like news either, right? Uh, so no new articles, which is I guess. I it, mean, we right? put out the news, right? So like that's we, true. Yeah, right. Yeah, we had <laughs> we had vital assets, so we're the we're the news creators uh, this past week, which was interesting for sure. Uh, and then we've got. Um, you know, maybe, uh, I got a feeling they were going to announce, um, some units at Adepticon, so maybe we'll get a, uh, yeah. like an article, uh, Thursday or Friday. Yeah, I mean, what, like, hey, they announced what Clone anyway. Wars last year, right? Yeah, so, uh, you know, as much as I'd really love to see First Order, or, um, you know, one of those, the new factions get some, like, representation, like, we need more units in the other factions before we announce yeah, agreed. brand new factions. But it's, it's new stuff's cool, right? Yep. Like that's the new stuff is always cool. So, like, yeah, I want a giant walking spider tank that covers half the board. Yeah, I want uh, that giant clone walking tank, the uh, the six leg one. Yeah, I want uh, you know like a a different kind of ATS here. That that tie tank from the Legends. Yeah, that really ugly tie tank. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be but, really uh, interesting to... I can't wait to get some more stuff. I'd really love to hear... Uh, man, so... Uh, we're gonna do... We'll do over-under. Alright? Uh, Alright. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, and then you say over-under if you think 
uh, let's say a theoretical article comes out this week. I don't think it's going to, but yep. let's just say it does. Um, and let's say, or better yet, let's say we go, we're at Depticon right now, and we're in the room, and they're going to start announcing new stuff. Yep. And I'm going to say over, under, and you tell me uh, if you think it's going to happen or not. All right. Uh, over, under, uh, a scum faction. I, oh, over, I, th I think there's uh, a likelihood of it. Okay. Right, because they've got, like, uh, you could do the huts, yeah. right? Um, you could do the huts. You've got, they said the Mandalorian's coming to Legion. Um, what was that? That was at Gamma or whatever? Yeah, that was at Gamma. Uh, so for those of you like who didn't get to see that, Gamma is a show, and they they had a bunch of, what is that noise? They had a bunch of uh, stuff that they presented at Gamma, and one of them was, they, you know, they were mapping out what the next five years yeah. or something like that, and the head of Asmodee said that you know, um, Mandalorian was definitely on the Legion roadmap, which it should be. Uh, yeah, right. It, like, how could it not? Yeah, and I think it falls within Civil War, right? Or just, it's after the Civil uh, War. It's, uh... Well, it kind of did it, both, right? Because the Mandalorian there, he was around during the Clone Wars. Because, War. yeah. yeah. Um, so that's... Okay, because they said that's coming. A faction would be interesting. Um, it would be cool to get, like, a Raincore. As you're a creature, like a giant creature trooper. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, wonder if they're okay. Okay, over under. Creature. Rancor? No, uh, creature. Um, scenario similar to like the drop pod and the. Oh. Uh, Ooh. Okay, I'll say over on that. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna say under, but my my expectations and my want for it are very high. How about that? Okay. Uh, I'll say I don't think so, but man, that'd be cool. Like to have a. Uh, Dude, sell me a Raincore pack. Right. Right. Sell me a pack. In a scenario, you put the Raincore in the middle, and it has like a ba really baby basic AI that's like move toward closest thing and punch. Right. Yeah. Right. All um, right. I got another one for you. Over under on uh, Ewoks. Oh my god. Yo. <sighs> I'm going to say over just because uh, 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 Sam Whitworth. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, and, and Luke. That he's like, he wants he walks in Legion, and Luke Eddie responded, he'll see what he can do. Yeah. Um, I really, I don't want he walks in Legion. Um, oh, my God, I, I do so bad. <laughs> Cause, you know like, why? Because guess... if you were going to put them in, I would make them like goblins from, like, uh, from Warhammer <laughs> Fantasy, where they're just, Court like, choice. yeah, they're just insane. Core choice, like, eight models to a unit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 30 points uh <laughs> and they do they do characters. nothing unless they're up against vehicles and then they have like all these special abilities impact like <laughs> yeah i think that would be really good okay all right i'll say um uh, over uh under we want to go to the port units. port a little i'm gonna bit try more. to cut through here yeah oh okay do, uh, uh so flying so not like the arc troopers but something a little bit more like, like the vehicle, air, like, like the air um, speeder. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, over. I think I think there is probably like two or three I could think of off the top of my head that potentially could make it. I think two of them fall within Clone Wars. I think a tie. Uh, what is it? The um, striker. Yeah, the tie striker from Rogue One. Like I think that could still be. Uh, that oh, yeah, Still has cool. potential, and because those are about the size of an air speeder. Uh, yep. They're a low orbit vehicle. Because uh, that'd be cool. Then you've got like. Um, I, Hard left, matey. Hard, Hard to left. port. Right. Hard to port. Hard to port. I, I hope somebody's listening to this episode and they just come just in general. at the, at that part. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, wait, did he just yell hard to port on the Fit Trooper pocket? First mate Cracker Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Land ho, matey. So sorry for those of you uh, watching. Wasn't a ton of excit excitement in this uh, voyage, but we did get some treasure that we're about to turn in. I, I didn't see any ghost ships. I suppose we could have headed towards that. Uh, yeah, but... that, that leads to ghost ships, yeah. Um, we didn't, we didn't meet a Kraken, we didn't get a Megalodon, we didn't see any other players. 
Uh, but that's okay. Not every day is exciting, right? Some days got to be a, just uh, normal. An article writing day, right? Of, uh, right, right. Well, that's why we kind of picked this game, though, right? So we could actually talk about Legion and not, uh, yeah, and not like scream at each other, like, "Dude, guy behind you!" Yeah. Right? Like, that's can actually, true. yeah, kind of just enjoy uh, playing the game. Uh, um, is that all right, all right. To the right there a little bit. All right. Over uh, to, what do you got for another unit? Okay, it's to the right. We got a little ways. All right. Over under. Um, let's see. I I honestly don't think they're gonna do the new factions. No. Nope. But uh, how about over under, um, like maybe operative Leia, operative. Uh, well, he can't really do operative. Veers. Veers was just always like a dude, right? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Maybe let me rephrase this a little bit. Um. Over under. Okay. All right. Um. Even if we don't get scum faction, over under Dengar. Hmm. I would like Dengar. Uh, I'll say under. I think you're more. You may be. You may. The next one may be an IG unit. If I had to guess. Uh, I mean, that makes sense with uh, uh, IG eleven. Makes sense with Mandalorian. Right? Yeah, or you could do IG eighty eight, and now you have like. Okay, so like. I mean, you had some stuff from the comics and the the extended universe stuff that you know gave you some examples of what they could do. But I think that Mandalorian really like gives you an example of what the IG units are capable of. So yeah. I think in Civil War, like I would do an IG eighty eight because you know you have Boba, you have Bosk. Why not do IG eighty eight? And you kind of have a feeling of how he's going to operate in a in a fighting scenario now based on Mandalorian. That's fair. Like, uh, what do you think? Uh, he's got Gunslinger. Oh, Definitely. for sure. I would almost okay. Let's let's uh, like. Could they do gunslinger like three or four? Like that's what he. That's what yeah. he would have. You know, let's, like because he spins uh, let's start around. Crafting out our IG unit. All right. A, uh, uh, so armor one. Yep. Right, like a like a heavy droid because he took some shots. Maybe so even armor two. He's got self destruct. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, that's real. <laughs> uh, so he can. Uh, so like in 40k, there used to be units. I think there still is that. Um, if they died, they exploded. Yep. So that'd be an interesting where he goes off like a bomb if he... Uh... Yeah, I think that would probably be a command card, right? Like, that wouldn't yeah, be yeah. Uh, on the unit. Time self-destruct. Yeah. Um, yeah, armor one. He Gunslinger. I would say gunslinger three. And he has a pistol okay. that does, like, two red with pierce one and a sharpshooter one. Okay, I'll say, like, uh, give it two red and a white just so you get that, like, chance yep. of the high roll, right? Anchors. Anchors. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, nice, good job, Evan. Perfect, perfect. Turn in that Reaper chest. Yeah, I saw another ship over there, so yeah, we yeah, might yeah, get yeah. Uh... Let's see what happens. But yeah, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what. So uh, we got armor one, gunslinger yeah. three. Yeah. Um, courage. Courage. Hmm. Uh, okay. No, he doesn't want it. Uh, maybe the, uh, maybe the, this lady over here. Try the merchant. That yeah. looks like a merchant box. Or maybe it goes to the skull oh. lady. Yeah. Did the merchant take I mean, it? it makes noise. It's, uh... Yeah, try skulls. No? Alright, try merchant. Who wants this thing? Yeah, tried the, the gold hoarder. Not um, us. We don't want it. Yeah. Got Reaper's chest. Okay. Let me uh, let me Google this. Did you, really did you try the merchant over there yeah, by yeah, the yeah, boat the gold builder? Order. Yeah. No, no, no. The uh, over here, where yep, you the, turn um... where you turn in bananas and stuff. Yep, yep. Tried her. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe... Yeah, her. Try that one. Yep, nope. Huh. She of course, doesn't... this has to be the one with, uh... She doesn't want oh, it man. either? Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not good. Um, okay, so we got that. We got, uh... Does he have scale? 
No. Or does he not? No, no. Okay. Does he have steady? Uh, no. Does he have relentless? Yes. Okay. I don't think you could give him gunslinger and relentless. He'd be crazy powerful. Uh, hmm. Does he have um, AI anything, or is he too smart for that? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I think if it's an 11, maybe the AI. If it's IG-88 himself, I think he doesn't need it. Right. Right, because in, uh, like, where he kept going to, like, that, I I must, you know, explode now. I must self-destruct. Yeah. Like, no, stop it. <laughs> no, take my order token. Okay. <laughs> But definitely bounty. That's a keyword on there. Yep, he's definitely got bounty. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you this: If they end up yeah. doing Mandalorian, and let's say, let's say they don't add another faction. Okay. It's only it's only the four factions we have now, and they add the Mandalorian. Is he a rebel, or an imperial? Oh. That's that's actually real tough. Um, I think he's a because uh, uh, in the beginning he's he's imperial, right? Like he gets a bounty. Uh, Sorta, yeah. Do you think maybe he could maybe he could cross factions? Yeah, I, that'd be cool. All right, so you've got um, you've got that Moff Moff Gideon. Um, so you got Moff Gideon to. Uh, to be on Imperial, right? Yeah. You got at least an Imperial unit. So I guess he's Rebel? <laughs> uh, so I think that's correct. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense, right? And Baby Yoda could be an objective token. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Or an upgrade for him that gives him a force power, maybe? That would be interesting. Or it could be... So like a... or, or no, he would be like... He'd probably be like Aiden or Cassian. Where you he have the keywords for yeah, it. Yeah, where where, uh, where he comes with Baby Yoda, tiny as a as a as like a companion, and then you know you get that gives you upgraded force powers or stuff. That would be interesting. But that'd right. be really cool. So we're we're winding up on about an hour here, Evan. Anything else you want to say to our lovely listeners out there as we sail into the sunset? Um, wash your paws. Yep. Uh, paint your stuff if you got time. Yep. And, uh, as always, stay rad. All right. Well, folks at home, thank you for listening. And if you watched on YouTube, thank you for watching. I'm going to go sit on this beautiful Caribbean beach. And, uh, I'll wave you guys off here in a second as soon as I figure out how to do that. And uh, there you go. So Pirate Jay says goodbye, and Evan says goodbye, and thanks for listening and joining us on this uh, fun experiment. And, uh, yeah, Evan, come on over here and wave, and we'll get you in camera here. So yeah, Evan, let us know if you like this. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we could do this with all kinds of games. <laughs> so, uh, Or maybe we'll do, you know, or if you guys want to see Evan and I just live stream, maybe live stream a Pirates game and talk... You know, uh, talk to you yeah. guys, see a thieves. That'd be cool. So, uh, all right, everybody, thanks for joining us on this experiment. We really appreciate it, and we will talk to you next week. Everyone, stay ready. Join us next week for another edition of the Fifth Trooper podcast. This has been a Fifth Trooper production. <laughs>